Hello there, so 20 things you might not know in Fallout 76 tips, tricks, general info for new players all long time. Some players are hundreds of levels in and still learning things. So let me know if you didn't know any of these and if you have any more to share then chuck them in the comments down below. But let's just get into this. So we'll kick things off with a couple of power armor tips. So the power armor HUD on screen, a lot of people don't like it. It clutters the screen, but you can actually get rid of it while still being in your power armor. So all that is is going over to settings and going over to display and then turn it off. Enable power armor HUD. And once you've done that, you now have an uncluttered screen and you're still in your power armor. Next power armor tip is power armor chassis. You can actually rename your power armor chassis. So like I have here, got T65, T60, T51, T45, Hellcat. You can rename them to whatever you want. So instead of having a whole bunch of power armor chassis and chucking them down and trying to figure out which one is which, you can actually rename them and you can rename your other items as well. Next up is your quick wheel. You can chuck armor pieces on here as well. This goes for power armor and regular armor. As you can see, I've got two pieces there. So I can switch between my jetpack and my emergency protocols depending on which one i need pretty useful and quick tip there and also in power armor there is no cooldown or no animation i should say for your stim pack so if you need a stim pack even if you are shooting you can hit that heal button and you will use a stim pack so you don't actually get interrupted by that animation and next is the third person mode so of course, you have your first person and your third person, but what some people don't know is you can actually zoom out in third person and zoom in depending on which you know amount of zoom out you want. So in case you didn't know that, that is how you do that. You pretty much just hold down, well, on PC at least, you hold down the middle mouse button and you can just drag in and out. And next tip, not much useful back in the day, but over at the White Springs, over here near the golf club, there is the sulfur water fountain. And as you can see, we currently have where is it? We have blood worms. So this fountain cures your diseases, which is really, really useful. Of course, way more useful back in the day when there wasn't stuff like the symptomatic around, but still really useful for new players and for players that don't have access to the symptomatic. So this one will clear and cure all of your um, diseases. So another quick tip is with terminals. If you're a whole bunch of, you know, uh, menus in and you're reading logs and all that and you need to get out quickly because you're being attacked or you're taking rads or something like that you know you usually hit the back button and you would go back and you would go back and you'd exit but a quicker way of doing that especially with the terminals where you you know go quite a few pages in basically is let's say we're in here all you have to do is just hold your back button and you'll exit at once so it's like a big escape instead of having to go back individual menu by menu and another useful tip is fast traveling so we all know if you've been attacked by an enemy you know you can't exactly fast travel you first have to get that like 14 second timer before it'll let you fast travel and of course if they attack you while you're attempting to fast travel uh then you know it cancels out that uh fast travel so like that what you can do though is you can use daily ops as an emergency fast travel because there's no timer for that so just go over to daily ops hit join and it'll immediately take you out of that situation boom emergency fast travel so if you're being attacked or you're in a situation where you really need to get away quickly or if you know you just get the fast travel bug and it doesn't really want to let you fast travel just hit daily ops fast travel and then go to wherever you decide to go in the first place so Nice little tip there. And on the topic of fast traveling, if you've come from some previous Fallout titles, uh, in case you didn't know, you can actually fast travel while you're indoors. So we're indoors here. We don't have to actually exit to the open world to actually fast travel. You can fast travel while you're indoors, which is a useful thing to know in case you didn't. So next tip is workshops. So if you're in a workshop and you don't want to spend time looking for the actual workshop station where you can, you know, go to and actually claim the unowned workshop uh, another tip is that you can just hold down your build button and no matter where you are as long as you're in the boundaries of the workshop and if we do that you will get the pop-up to automatically claim it so that saves you running around trying to find it or just saves you running around to it to actually claim it and hey if you found any of these helpful so far then do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button and stick around for more fallout content but let's get into more and another quick tip is apply some uh, you know, cosmetic paints to your weapons and armor so you don't accidentally script them or scrap them or drop them. You will always get the warning when you're about to do that. So if we go over to our shredder here and we drop, 
kind of be dropped this will destroy the item why because you have that skin on it so useful little tip there you know, it'll save you quite a few times in case you you know accidentally sell it or try and drop it by mistake or try and script it that will help you out and on that note you can actually use your repair kits from the quick wheel menu or from your pip boy either works you don't have to be at an actual uh you know workbench or armor bench to do that as you can see there inspect repair so we can just hit that and then repair kit so you can use your repair kits from wherever you are you don't need to be at the bench and another quick tip is mutations get yourself some mutations even if it's just marsupial you get that massive increase in jump height just makes things so much easier so yeah definitely consider some mutations another thing that people don't realize is there's under armor in the game so you can use under armor when you're uh, out of your power armor and just using regular armor pieces you can also mod it and you can get some nice bonuses there as you can see strength perception and endurance all getting a boost and it gives you a little bit of damage resistance but the main thing is those special point uh, increases so yeah under armor definitely get yourself and in case you ever need the feature there is an auto run feature so on pc at least hit the x button and you automatically run without having to hold uh, you know, keys to run forward. So if you're ever in a menu or if you're at a, you know, player vendor and they have a whole bunch of items, uh, as you can see here, I have a whole lot of Hornwright bunker card alphas. Please, Bethesda, remove these from the inventory once you're done with the event. But anyway, that out the way, as you can see, there's a lot that you would have to, you know, potentially scroll through, whether it's in your own pit boy menu at a vendor or whatever, but you can actually speed that up. So, if you just hold shift, you go through things much quicker than before, which makes it pretty useful. If you hold control, it's even quicker than shift. So real nice feature there. In case you didn't know, shift and control to speed up that uh, scrolling through your menus. And on the pip boy note, as you can see, we're in our pip boy here. We're not in our power armor at the moment. But if you want to have that power armor view, which also makes things a bit quicker, and you know, it doesn't give you that animation, is just hit view and it changes to this. So now you get that immediate pip boy pop up instead of that animation where you first, you know, see your character actually bring up your pip boy. So useful feature if you want this view for your pip boy. So another quick tip is the crit button. So when you're in VATS, you know, your crit meter is full, you hit the crit button and you get your crit shot off. What you didn't know though is you can just hold that down. So you use it automatically whenever it is full. So that helps you, you know, not spam it and do that awkward jump. You'll know what I'm talking about. Just hold the crit button down and it automatically uses your crit whenever it is full. And another quick tip, if you ever lose yourself on the map, just hit the center button, which on PC is space and it'll center on your character. Now, another quick tip, if you don't want to see your backpack on your character, like the power armor, just go over to the menu, go to settings, go to game this time, and a backpack visible, you can turn that off. Of course, if you have a jetpack, you'll still see the jetpack. Hopefully we can get a jetpack turn off as well at some point, but yeah, you're still wearing the backpack, you just can't see it. But there you go, a whole bunch of quick tips and tricks and some general info in Fallout 76 that you might not have known. If you enjoyed, then hey, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and stick around for more Fallout content. As always, a massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.